Hello guys, welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. Sorry about having to cut you short there, but there's only a 10 minute limit on YouTube, so I don't want to overrun. So, let's carry on where we were. So, we got to the, we've done the minimum and max speed. So the next part was this part here, the range speed being how fast it goes, as I said before, from left, coming off to the left and coming off to the right. So the range speed is a number which equals the max speed being this one, minus the minimum speed being this one. So as I said, that's why it was easier just to write what my max speed was and what my minimum speed was, and then minus that from the max speed minus the min speed. Sorry if this is a bit confusing, but as I said, it just saves you having to write in numbers. It will do it all for you. So I'll just quickly show you what exactly I mean. Let's just show you again. So at the moment, this is running on its max speed. So once we come in closer to the cubes and then start to hover over, then you start to get your minimum speed. So start to move over again and moving away, it will start going to its max speed. So basically that's what I mean, once you come into the right, it starts to slow down, once you come out, sorry, once you come from the left, coming off to the left, it speeds up, I beg your pardon. Once you come over and then come off to the right, it starts to speed up again. So that's basically your max and minimum speed. Let's close that down, open up the action script. So the next part we do is a variable of min y, which is a number of center y minus the radius y. So center y, as I say, being the vertical line up and down, minus the radius y being the way it moves round in a circle. That's what I was saying about the speed. That's how quick it moves round. The next one is max y which is a number of center y which is this one here so as i say this is why i've made variables just so i don't have to keep making calculations i can just use the variables that i've already made so center y plus the radius y being how quick it speeds up once it rotates on its radius so what i've done is I've made a range y which equals its max y minus its min y. So these two variables here, so it would take this max y, which is the center y plus the radius y, and it would minus this one here, which is the min y, center y minus the radius y. Sorry if I'm a bit confusing at the moment, it's uh bit hard to get to grips with. It's a lot of calculations it's uh, doing. I know the guys out there that know Flash will understand this a lot better. And I know the new guys out there will find this a bit complicated, but as I say, just come over to dev uh, develop PHP, sorry. Download the source file. You'll see the code. Just run it and then you can see exactly what each line does and you can actually see from the demo of the speeds and that that it actually goes. So the next line is this one here. So a variable min scale, which is a number of 0 0.5 and the max scale, which is 1.2. So basically, the minimum scale would be what size it is. Just like wait for this to open. So the minimum scale would be this size here at the back, or as it starts to rotate from the front, as it starts to come round, whichever way it moves, as you can see, they start get, to get smaller as they move towards the back. So that's the minimum scale. And as I come around to the front here, this is the maximum scale. 
Obviously, we don't want this size to be the same around the back, otherwise it won't look as good. So that's why I've put a minimum scale on there, just to show that it's actually moving round, getting to the back, so it's going out of focus and getting smaller. And as it comes back round, it gets bigger as it comes into focus. So let's just close that and go back into the action script. So what I've done, I've made a variable of the range scale being the minimum scale and max scale. And that's the max scale minus the min scale. So as I said, the max scale being at the front. And as it starts to rotate, it will then minus to its minimum scale. So after that, I've made a variable of item array, which is an array, and that's equal to a new array. So as I said, I don't have anything on my stage. It's all done from action script, which is why I'm using an array. So as you can see, I've got item array dot push new cube blue. So basically, it's taking that item array and it's pushing out onto the stage these cube blue, the cube red, cube green, cube orange, and cube black, which is in my library. So cube black, cube blue, cube green, cube orange, and cube red. So it would take all these and it would put them into the item array and it would push them out onto the stage. So let's go back in. Sorry to keep going backwards and forwards out of the action script and back in and it's just, it's just easier to show you rather than telling you and then not showing you what it actually means. So what I've done after that, I've actually done item array zero, depending on which one you're using. So as this is my first item array of Q blue, the first item array it's going to have is zero. Arrays always start from zero. So the dot target URL of the first item array is google.com. So all I've done is just copied that and pasted that down five times. Although there's five there, I've only got it up to four. As I said, if this item array was to start from one, it would be one, two, three, four, five. But as I said, item array start from zero. So that's why it's zero, one, two, three, four. And they're basically, oh, sorry guys. They are basically all the same except the address that they go to and the color. So color blue goes to Google, cube red goes to YouTube, cube green goes to developphp.com, cube orange goes to adobe.com, adobe however you like to pronounce that, and cube black goes to devbooth.com. Okay guys, well... I'm going to have to cut it short there again and uh, finish off on the last part of part three. So keep watching and uh, yeah, as I say, all this will be available. So I'll uh, see you in part three. Cheers, guys.